Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise, and I'm sitting in a 2020 Mazda 3 sedan with select package. And what I'm going to cover today is the standard in every Mazda 3, that's sedan and hatchback, the standard electronic parking brake with auto brake hold. And I think you'll enjoy that feature. But before we jump into that, go ahead and hit the JSS down here in the bottom, uh, your bottom right, and go ahead and you'll subscribe to my channel and ding that bell so that you're alerted and updated first with everything Mazda coming directly from me on my channel. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. All right, so this is where we're looking straight ahead. And when you go down here with the commander control, you'll see that right here is your electronic parking brake and auto hold. So by default, every time you crank it up, this parking brake is gonna be engaged. So you can pull it up to release it, or I'm sorry, pull it up to set it and push it down to release it. And you'll also feel that in the brake pedal as you do that. So up is set down releases it and of course it shows right there on the screen so you have that park and then it goes away so every time you crank it you'll have to do that which is not a big deal i'm sure and it helps of course uh, keep it in place and it's actually more safe when you're parking the vehicle when it's going from there the feature that i like with this is this auto hold which i guess it won't let me do because it won't let you ride with that until your seat belt is fastened. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, so now seat belt's fastened. Let's go ahead and hit this button. And so the benefit of this is I'm gonna put it in drive, okay? I'm gonna let my foot off the brake and you'll notice we're not going anywhere, okay? So I used this feature the other day when I was at uh, road construction and I uh, just got tired of having my foot on the brake, you know, with one of those uh, stop and slow one lane road scenarios. So, you know, this is something that's convenient and of course it's electronic and it's uh, automatic once you have it engaged. So no worries, uh, it's not gonna do any damage to your system and it shows you up front that we're in hold. Now how you disengage that, of course, when I'm sitting there is just hit the accelerator. So I move my foot over there, you see it go away and now we're moving, all right? So when I come to a stop, what's gonna happen? Hold again. So I can let my foot off the brake and this is good if you're at uh, you know, some type of stoppage in traffic or at a uh, traffic light. Um, I don't think I would drive with it all the time just because I'm used to letting my foot off the brake sometimes and rolling, but uh, it is a, a neat feature. And uh, so again, hit my foot on the accelerator, it lets loose and there we can go. All right, now, if I say, hey, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Just go ahead, hit that button again. And as soon as I let off of that brake, we're rolling. So it's real simple, really easy, and uh, really convenient. So uh, just to show you, when you turn this car off and go to crank it, it will automatically catch right here. And uh, so let's just do that real quick. So you see the parking brake came on. Go ahead and fire it up. And you see that it's on there. So if I, I put it in drive, we're going nowhere. Our parking brake is on. All right, so again, easy, simple, very convenient. And uh, thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Uh, or give me a call or text at 334-718-0504. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells, hanging out in this 2020 
Mazda 3 sedan with select package. And I can't wait to see you in a new Mazda.